The reports have, have created some voicemails. Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. If the reports are accurate that De Podesta is the one crafting the game plan and using analytics to devise said game plan, then this is a travesty. How can a baseball guy have the audacity to tell a head coach of a football team what to do, when to do it, and how to do it? This is why our organization is the laughing stock of the entire league. Also, that is why no respectable head coach will want to come here. Like, for example, Sean Payton. You think that he will let some baseball nerd tell him how to call plays and when to do it and why? This is truly embarrassing and so heartbreaking to hear this, man. I'm tired of this ridiculous and nonsensical stuff that happens inside that building. It's like Stefanski is nothing but a yes man and wants to please his boss so he won't get fired. Okay, I digress. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. And <laughs> so th that's a, that's a sampling, Quincy. Um, but that's again those it, poor producers that's, behind the scenes. You that's know what I mean? Not, <laughs> I can give them a shout. That, that's not again. That's not what's happening. But you could make the case that a guy like Sean Payton or a guy like uh, you know fill in the blank um, head coach would have pause to come here just because of the struggles this franchise has had for a number of years. I would say that probably has more to do with it than, like, the analytics thing, right? Right. Like, Sean Payton was a noted user of analytics when he was in New Orleans. It's one of the things that got him ahead. He was, like, ahead of the curve on that. Um, you know, even guys like John Harbaugh, former Super Bowl winning coach, it drives them crazy in Baltimore how much he just defers the analytics on these things, right? Um, but, you know, the, the, the respected coaches, there are a lot of them that are like, yeah, this is the new wave. And again, he's not telling Kevin what to do. These are suggestions and guardrails that are kind of agreed upon between everybody before they go into the season. And this is just how they choose to do their job on it, right? The last guy we had that didn't want anything to do with analytics was Freddie Kitchen. So it's not like it's a guarantee that like you don't leave you leave him alone that none of this stuff is going to have an effect. Um I think, you know, again, we hear analytics. I don't think I think there are some fans now who have grown up with analytics being a part of football, but there's a lot where this thing's still kind of new to everybody. And new things tend to freak people out, tend to when they hear it, it's a part of their front office, they freak out like it's a bad thing. But this is just the way the NFL has been going. Um, and, you know, when you have Andrew Barry, when you have Kevin Stefanski, when you have the Podesta, this is just what they want to do. Like, this is what all three of them want to do. This is how they want this team to be ran. Um, and this is how Jimmy wants the team to be run. And quite frankly, it's a lot of teams that are ran like that. So, yeah, it's just, again, if you win, nobody really cares how it gets done, right? But when you're right. not winning, everybody wants to be the cook. Yeah. That's exactly. Winning cures everything.